that sound fire, yo. What up, baby? What's going on, y'all? What's going on, America? You tuned in to that new hit series, More Than Music. I'm your host, Danny Love, and the building with me is my co-host, DJ Super Excite. What's going on, yes, brother? So we in the building, man. Yes, man. Long time, long man. Long time. We coming off that spring break, baby. Yo, you already <laughs> know, man. Everybody out there, man. We've been we've been away for about two, three weeks now, working on the second half of season one. Um, so what? The last time we saw each other, we had Envy in the building. We had Envy in the building, and it was a very good look. Oh man. Yo, America. Uh, if you haven't seen that one, make sure you log on. You gotta get that DLE records, yes. music, and log on, subscribe, whatever you gotta do. Absolutely. Make sure you get to that because that MV joint was crazy. And it's coming soon, America. So we're gonna drop that any day now. So stand on that, like DJ Super Excite said, man. Tune in on us. Check us out. YouTube.com backslash DLE records music. Word, man. We got a great show tonight for you, man. A quick one, straight to the point, man. As every, and again, before I even go on, man, I always like to say thank you to everybody out there that's been tuning in, been watching. Shout yeah. to everybody, man, Definitely. the sponsor and what we're doing in the industry for loving independent the music. We're loving the view. Yes, we're man. All of that. And it's not easy, so continue supporting us as we keep trying to break down these barriers, you know? But um, we got a great show in store for you guys today. We got a special, special, special guest. Also going to be our guest co-host in the building, man. We got Fred the Godson. Uh, you already know, man. You know so about that. Episode 7, man. We come and we write our first episode off of... Or off spring break. Off of spring break, off man. Spring break. And, and we back and we got we got a set, six more, seven more episodes That's for right. you. We did the meet we did the mid season with DJ Envy. Yep. That was the mid season finale. Yep. So you, you, just like every show y'all watch. We had the <laughs> mid season finale. Yep. That was with DJ Envy and we coming back hard strong with Fred the Godson right in your face. Man. Oh man, so I'm real excited to have him in the building, man. So we got Fred the Godson. Also we got a special treat, man. The big homies coming out with a brand new fresh album, highly anticipated for Four years since the first release, man, but he's back. First time, um, we, you probably seen him on a DJ Envy episode, but uh -huh. this is his first time on a More Than Music uh -huh. as um as a you know artist doing this thing. But we got the Asbury Park, New Jersey Zone, Jersey the Dawn, DLE Zone, Jersey the Dawn Jersey's in the building. in the building. Yes, yes, man. That's so, no jerk. oh, you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> you're ready. So we got a so, you know a hot performance from him. We also got Jazz O'Fay, uh -huh. who's been doing her thing out there, man. We got we had to bring her back. She also gonna be doing her thing in front of Fred the Godson, you know. Jazz so, my own. Fred is our co-host. He's gonna get a chance to chop it up with him, man. We're gonna see what is going on. He got the new project coming, so word. But no further ado, we'll be back after this short break with DJ Super Excite. Let me hear some bangers, man. More than music. Yes. Effects and explosions now, word up. But welcome back, man. If you're just tuning in, you're tuning in to more than music. I'm your host, Danny Love. We're gonna switch it up a little bit this time. Normally, we interview the artists first and then we perform, but we're gonna switch it up because it's a special show. We got, you know what I mean? We got Fred the Godson in the building. In the building. Yes, yes. So, you and guys, you in for a treat, man. So, stay tuned. But first, we're gonna kick it off, man. We got a very special recording artist, a big homie family. No stranger to the DLE stage, no stranger to more than music. You might have saw him at the DJ Envy joint. Got the new product coming out May 11th. Y'all welcome to more than music, Jersey the Dawn. Jersey the Dawn. Yes, yes. What's going on, brother? What's up, brother? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. You up there, yeah, man? That's it. Let him know. You already know, man. It's Jersey the Dawn. It's my new single coming off my new album. So, Sound of a Universal Language. Jersey the Dawn in the building, Let's man. Go. Jersey's in the building. Let's go. Asbury, stand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be coming to your city like a rumble pump pump, a rumble pump pump, a rumble pump pump. Got that hundred round drum going a rumble pump pump, a rumble pump pump, a rumble pump pump. Daily a bigger city like a rumble pump pump, a rumble pump pump, a rumble pump pump. Hey, now I'm about to snap on this. Call the hood, call the birds, tell them clap for me. Call your dogs, call your girls. Tell them clap for me, this is my introduction to the world Bring it back, homie, yo Hey, I done bought the trap on this Sell them hoes, sell them birds Bring it back, homie Call your set, call your foes Tell them clap for me I do the shit for everybody So I'm in the cool with the roof Hey, yeah, I made it clap for me Got staff 
Bitch on deck, most of it pack money Bad bitch on my side, holding the strap for me Be it the gun or the ass shit, she make a clap for me, yo Hey, 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 it's soft tools Tell them nigga on the job, I came to rap to him Show them why I'm that nigga, bring the cash to him That thing from George, I got a nigga, call it Pat Ewing, yo Hey, 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 this is Slick Talk 101 Tell the competition we eat, they can't get a crumb Just let me sell too many records, then I'm overdone Streets, nigga. Red, red drug dealers, free big meats, nigga. Don't go wrong, but when it's legend, compete, nigga. Fans building cases on me, but they weak, nigga. How you gonna chase down the awful dodger? 40 grand in my pocket, on my awful dodgers. That strip club cake, make millionaires our niggas gorgeous. If she can suck the strike over zebra, I'll take a father. Hey, who the fuck you mean, mother partner? I got kids who favorite toys and chrome chopper. They'll hit your ass up and don't even bother. Back after that short break, man. 
you just witnessed Jersey Dawn tear it down to that single clap. We got another artist in the building, you know what I mean? That's gonna be tearing it down. She's no stranger, stranger to the stage. You might have seen in episode two, shut it down, but she's back, man. We got Fred the Gosselin in the building, so it's a very special episode. So we got things moving in a different order today, but with no further ado, man, more than music, y'all welcome. Jazz O'Fay. Jazz O'Fay. What's going on? Jazz good, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Jazz of Fate, we'll be back after this break with the one and only Fred the Gosselin. Yes! Yes, yes, y'all. Welcome back to more the music. Like I promised, man. Like we said, we told y'all all episode, man. We got the one, you know, the fat boy fresh himself, Fred the Godson. What's going on, man? Yo, Good. Welcome, Good welcome, welcome, welcome to more the music. DJ yeah. Super excited. What up, man? What's up, man? Yo, Fred the Godson is big luck. Big Take luck, that much. man. I'm telling you, man. You don't even know. Word, man. <laughs> Word, man. What's so? Let the people know, man. Who you are, what it is, man. It's your boy Fred the Godson, aka Goldo Frederico. Yes, sir. Uh, Fat Boy Fresh, the mixtape out rocking. Yes. Um, got the single out yes, called Everything, nice. featuring Vado French Montana. So nice, man. You know, team working, we working. Working, man. I see yeah, you, man. Right. See you. Well, first I gotta tell everybody, you know, man, we're very humbled to have you here and very thankful too, man. So Good thanks looking, a lot. Good look. Um, what made me really seek you, man, was what the the love that we we saw you was giving us as independent artists and stuff, man. I wanted to talk a little bit about that. So first thing I did something for the people that's first time. Um, Getting tuned into Fred the Godson. Let them know when it all started for you. When it all started to click. Cause I heard it at high school. The freestyles were you was rap. You was yeah, really yeah. known for. Yeah, but it was, it was just play around. You know, mm. like joking in the hallway, just rhyme. You know, you snapping on people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Head thing. That's what's up. You know, um, then I stepped into a studio, a real studio, like in two thousand two. Mm. Mm. And then uh, you you say like around 2005 I started getting serious. That's, what, that's what's up. And then like right after that, it's just took that's off from there. Not really took off. Not took off yet. <laughs> not, not, not yet. No, no. So when 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 do you think came um, your biggest break that made you 
into the industry? My biggest thing to me was, um, I mean, when you, knew, when you knew you was it. You, oh, when I was on the cover of Double XL. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I had a freshman class. <laughs> okay. me. Yeah, so I remember Kendrick that. Lamar. Remember that episode. Meek yeah, Mills. remember that. Remember yeah. that. That's what's up. So like, like a lot of people, I don't know if they hear because we we've been. This is our, our seventh episode. We, we're new and and the whole concept of the show. We've been educating independent artists on features and how to do the proper collabos, the importance of paperwork and all. You mentioned earlier that you started in 2005, and um, that's a that's a long time. I, I wanted to know what what you know what kept you in it this long and what what really what you know. Yeah, that's the main thing. What kept you in it for so long? There's a lot of artists that's frustrated yeah. to give up. It was like, you know, I had a good team with me. We all from the streets, so we was all fortunate to make money in the streets and do things to buy, like things that we need. I always had a studio mm. and um, that's what's up. always had a place to record and always had like nice things or whatever. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. So it's not like I was starving, right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was looking better than a lot of artists that was on. Oh, aha, I like that, so, yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. that, like that. that we just, it's just grinding and working, you know, so it, it's just, it's hard for me to quit anything. Hmm. Like if I start, it's hard for me I'm the same to way. quit yeah. than to keep going, you I'm know, the same so. Way. I waited last yes. minute for you, I waited, I, yeah, was I, like, can't, I can't quit either, that's what's up. And then, you know, the people stop me in the street, it's like, you're my favorite rapper, you're my mm. boss, it's crazy, how you, so that, mm. that 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 goes a long way, yeah. especially mm. when nothing's moving. That's what's up. Nothing nothing's moving sometimes, and you just get that love. You, that 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 gives you that that push. So that would, that's what made me keep going. It's important to hear you say that because I think a lot of artists glorify the the glamour and the glitz, but they don't see that part. That it's so the it struggle. takes the struggle or the longevity that or the consistency. You know that it yeah. takes definite, and mm. it's something that's important. Um, I, I gotta I gotta ask, man. Um. From that first person that, that came up to you and approached you, no better yet, but before I ask that, how much, and this is a, a question I always ask, and independent artists are very afraid to spend money. Mm -hmm. And I find it that um, without the, the accomplishments, they feel like they owed something. I wanted to know about that myth buster, myth buster or if you can address that. That is something that I run into all the time as an independent, is I should be paid or or like, yo, who's gonna be there, things like that. I just wanna know, walk us through what Fred the Godson was like when he was 15, 16, all the show, all your, your, you know, everything you must have been through, the, the if there was um, doubt or, you know, I remember doing some shows where the hosts were having, and they would, they would rock one city, but I'm not from that city, so I'm kind of like, what up, New York, you know, or something. So I just wanted to, you know, if you can just address some of that. Well, first off, these artists, they, they got it twisted. Mm. Like, I know artists that, like that myself, where they want to charge, but they haven't done nothing. Damn. Like, these things is, you gotta get the accolades together. You gotta, you cannot do nothing. I don't care if you was in, even when people was coming up to me mm -hmm. saying I'm their favorite rapper, I couldn't charge nobody because I ain't do anything yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I was getting like in the beginning where I remember when that, I, I remember when it was getting close though, when yeah. that one kid called my phone, was like, yo, yo, I, I wanna do a song. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I got you. Say, yo, but you know, you could do it for me for 500. I'm like, what? <laughs> you gonna pay me five hundred for this? Wow, that's what's And I was up. like, okay, this shit's that's rocking, what's up, man. man. Oh man. And then you know, but there's there's artists now that they want to get paid and right. they haven't done nothing, but they they're probably good. Right. And like, salute to them, but mm -hmm. it's still accolades, man. Like mm. people gotta know you because they're paying because you're good and it's gonna get me exposure because you have a certain exposure but gotcha. you ain't got no exposure why am i paying you right now you're you know opportunists now they're trying to out yeah, it's there. crazy i understand wow. ride off your height because yeah, they don't want to put in the work you gotta yeah. put in the work <laughs> artists you heard that man there's no way around there's no shortcuts around it man can you give us um, a ballpark before anybody took interest in you um or any you know any outside help how much was it or what was it like for your, your camp how much was y'all spending in yourselves weekly monthly before anybody got into it. I'm, 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 I'm seeing the reaction, but, but I just... If I say the real number, it's gonna be a lot of No, you know what, you know, and I'm gonna be like, there's no way. No, no, but I, I want that because it, more than music, there's artists and I, and I, they know who they are. $200 is a hard sacrifice. Yes. So it's important that I, I want you, real Fred the God, to just explain to America, man, like what kind of sacrifices was one of you know, Fred the God's son making that camp? before everybody got involved? Well, first of all, we got the studio. 
the just the studio time. Like before I bought my own studio, yeah. I was spending at least two thousand dollars a month in other studios. And like wow. that was just out the pocket. That's and then when we got our studio we we had just the studios, man, we talking about like three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars. I'm sorry. The man made a comment just now. He said two hundred dollars just for gas alone. And that's that's a real thing because a lot of artists don't, don't understand that. that right. You gotta get you gotta get the you gotta get to these places and you gotta do what you gotta do to 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 to, to get yourself out there, man. And they not understanding that. And they think that oh, you know, if I if I'm a DJ or a promoter or somebody like that, and I want you to come to my joint, I want you to. I don't really know you yet. So you gonna have to put out that little bit of bread just to come out and get yourself known and get yourself out there. Cause I know, I know, uh, Fred. I know you've been, you had to, you had those times where they asked you, yo, you are gonna have to put out that little hundred, that whole hundred fifty, just to, for you to come on on the show. Because it, it's it's a lot of artists out there like that, and people nowadays they yeah. don't understand that. You know and what I mean? And I paid every last one. Exactly. And I did like. 600, 700, I did so many shows I can imagine, yeah. where me and my team is in there and mm -hmm. we looking crazy, mm -hmm. but I'm, I, I got to get recognized, so I got to put in the work, it's not mm -hmm. about looking pretty, the jewelry and all that shit sitting up there, mm -hmm. and like I got bars, I'm nice, so y'all mm -hmm. niggas, nah, nah. you got to earn your key, you know, I mean like you got to, you got to go in, so it'll be times where a nigga be like, you know the shit. Mm -hmm. Here's 10 tickets, sell them. Yeah. $15 a piece. Right. Let's just give them 150, just yeah, give them 10 yeah, tickets. Yeah, and then right. even get more tickets, because we, we, they know me as the kid mm -hmm. that will come to the show 40 deep and have 30 niggas on stage with me. Mm -hmm. You know, and mm -hmm. I, and I, that's just the way that's we ran. Right. Wow. You know, that's what's up. like every time we go to a club 60 something deep and then like, y'all yeah, niggas can't come in. <laughs> wow. Because <laughs> y'all can take over the club anytime y'all want. Y'all overnumber the security by wow. five each. Wow. But it, it was love and that's, that's, that, that keeps you going. Like, being that everybody follow me. Like, this is my shit. Like, yeah. I mean, this is, I started like everybody's in it and we wanted to make money, mm -hmm. but this is my dream. This is my shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, being that I had, it was good with my family and everybody believed in me. Right. And they was willing. Right. You know, it's hard. It's so hard without support. It's right. a lot of niggas, I know a lot of niggas that, that, that's good, but nobody believes in them. Mm. And all, they don't just got the time to run with them. Mm. You know, because everybody do their own shit. You might want to rap, I won't fuck bitches all day. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, right. I'm going to the club and you like, yo, but I got to run out of here. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Yeah. And then I'm out. No sense. Wow, man. That's why we had to have you because you're, you're addressing the stuff that's right at the pressure point of independent, man. Especially yeah. for those independent artists that's trying to come up. Yes, they, yes. They think that it's only going to be glitz and glamour and it's not it's all no about that. So let me just quote. Twist There's lucky mm -hmm. people that, yeah. that, yeah, like, that luck yeah, up. Yeah, 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 There's yeah, niggas yeah, that yeah, luck yeah. up that's in the right place at the right time yeah, and they man. pop it and they ain't have to go through none, none of this shit. Yeah. Right. But you can't the depend reality on that love. is, yeah, you can't depend on that love. No. Man, absolutely no. not. And I just want to refer back to it. You said six, seven hundred shows, man, all paid for out of pocket. Had to do what he had to do. And I remember when I was, you know, early in my career, how I was hitting up all the shows, and I was just turned off by not because I was so new, and I wanted, you know, I was expecting that embracement or just supporting of the hip hop, the culture. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a student of hip hop, and once I, that's what I was going to ask you next too, because once I started seeing it wasn't the culture anymore. It wasn't about potential. It was about what can I get from you now? Like, when did the first time for you and when you saw that it wasn't, a, or is it? You know, I guess for a lot of people out there, for those, the people you run into that's not, for the love of the culture, it's about making money. You know, how's that for you, somebody who's so passionate and, you know? I mean, I don't get mad at it. I mean, because at the end of the day, it's sacrifices. Like, if you sacrifice as much as me mm -hmm. and spend as much money I have and my team had, I don't blame you for you trying to get your money back. Right. You know what I'm saying? I just love the game. Right. You know what I'm saying? I love it. But if a nigga don't love it and he's trying to get his bread and get money, go ahead. I mean, this is this is an avenue to get money. I mean, we're passionate about it. Right, There's people that's not, mm. and you can hear it, though. Mm. You can always hear it in the music. Up, man? You know, it sounds different. It sounds retarded sometimes, mm -hmm. but they get money from it. Wow. So you know what they're in it for. Because, like... So. Wow. Like if I'm around like some of these niggas, I wouldn't rap. I, I would keep practicing until I got better. I, I would never <laughs> jump in front of a camera and right. rap like that. Right, I understand. <laughs> like so, this Fred the Godson shit took time to study and mm. put his shit together before I let y'all hear anything. Mm. You never ever said, 
But wow. Fred the Godson, you know, that nigga got be way better than when I heard him. Mm. He never said that. Because when you first heard me, I was on my shit. Got you. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't wow, going to come man. out like that. You throwing jewels at us, man. You know what I mean? I hope everybody watching is running with it, man. More the music, music, man. That's, that's man. what it is. Definitely. So I, I guess I'm, like, a few more questions for you, man. I wanted to ask you, too. You've been around. You travel to a lot of different states and you put on. Um, I wanted to ask you, what's the difference between the New York independent artists trying to break it and those artists on the out-of-state scene if there is a difference um because i think there's one but i wanted to see what you thought and then two just what is you know what are those differences and why is new york so seems so far away from home oh uh, i mean it's like we we just too competitive over here man <clears throat> it's like in the mother states there's like if you go down south there's artists like a lot of people just found out who tech nine was Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But where he's at, he's a legend. There's millionaire rappers in different states that we never heard of. And wow. all they do is sell in their state. They don't even leave their state. Wow. They come out with a mixtape or an album. They got people driving around the town. And they okay. selling these shit for $10. And they going like 40000 Wow. Wow. And you know, you times that forty times. You don't. You, know. you, you don't need it. You don't need it though. That's and they, that's how they that's run the thing it. By New York, we just got everybody's rappers. So we not <laughs> buying shit. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a CD like uh, yeah. that shit can go crazy. Man. That shit could be a hologram <laughs> on the CD. Like, this right. cover's crazy. <laughs> that's what's up, man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even listen to break that. Show. Break that up for me, real quick. <laughs> Yo, and you know what's crazy? And so, I'm so passionate that that used to hurt. You know what I mean? I, and I, and and I want the people out there that's watching that do get that. I always tell people um, to sell 20,000 records, you got to talk to about 400,000 people. So you're going to get a lot of rejection, a lot of people walking by from you. What that discouragement, one, has it ever happened, you know, in the beginning when you saw people not showing that love or, or that discouragement? What kept pushing? What made you keep pushing? I don't know. I ain't really give a hell about if anybody bought my shit. I gave all the way my, my shit out for free, really. I understand. And the shit that I did sell, I, we only had like, in the big, yeah. when I first started, I had like probably like four boxes of CDs. Nice, I hear you. So yeah, I yeah. sold all them shit, shit for like I went platinum. Yeah, <laughs> like, all them shit was gone. Word, right. I ain't even read uh -huh. up or nothing. I just said, yo, it's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it Good. wasn't, you know, it wasn't Word. no that piff or nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So you couldn't download my shit if you ain't holler at me, you was finished. Yeah. <laughs> or you could listen on MySpace or some <laughs> right, shit. Right, right, right. That's you know. what's up, man. That's what's up, man. But well, the fans, man. What's the fans like? Cause they, the response you're getting in the streets is retarded. Oh, it's crazy, man. Um, craziest journey when I went went on my, I took my own tour, and I had a tour in Japan. Awesome. And these motherfuckers don't even know English, but mm. they knew my songs. Gosh. But they don't talk English, but they knew the songs. And I'm like, I'm asking the dude out there, like, yeah. let me ask you something, man. Like, mm -hmm. They can't talk English. I said, why do you call me so much? Said, they think you're Biggie. <laughs> I said, what the fuck? Why? So, yeah, you get the next Biggie. What? I was that's like, what's what? up, man. And then I had a song called Too Fat with Biggie on the uh -uh, hook. That's what's up. And when that shit came on, these niggas went crazy. I wow. said, oh, God, they love Big wow. out here, man. What's that like? Because I hear the great one, the 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 Messiah hip hop. Like, what? getting these names, how, what, what, is that pressure? Or how does that make you feel from all the, the work, all the sacrifices, everything you put into this? To be called the Messiah of hip hop in New York's, you know, Next and and we the streets the response like I said you was in demand I had to get you know I'm blessed to get you here so love what's that like man um it's it's it, it feels good because it, it lets you know you're doing something right mm. you know what I'm saying like every artist this shit is hard mm. like I'm not gonna come up here say shit is nothing this shit is hard man it's hard to get it to a point where you're making money I understand it's so much it's it's hard it's a grind wow like you. And it, and when you're there making when you're there making money, mm -hmm. and niggas know you, even gets harder. And mm -hmm. like people look at me and be like, I, I'm working 20 times more hard than I've ever worked in my life. Mm -hmm. You know, but you know, it's make crazy. a lot of money, thank God. And yeah, man. you know, but this shit is crazy. It's the, it, it's no love and in independent, cause I I mean I think that if you're if you're whack, other whack people have no problem working with you. If you're trying to, if you're trying to move up or somebody's like that, it's like the competition is like New York. There's too much of, of the same. Is it like that in the majors? Are you are you getting love or do you find people like they don't want you to take their spot? Or? Yeah, you get that all because this is rap. <coughs> this is hip hop. Mm. I have rappers that you know, I'm not gonna say their names, but right. they told me with their own mouth, like, yo, listen. It's easy for me to do a record with this dude, mm. but 
you say too much crazy shit. So my mind got to be right. Cause this is. Oh, you want you to write first. You know, <laughs> it's, it's, and, and and it's like when you get on the record. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to make music. Right. But I understand what they saying because you know how the people do. People listen like no, Fred killed, killed that, that nigga. Yeah, Fred killed always that killing all these yeah. niggas. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool, so but the fans don't know sometimes they be first. fucking yeah, me yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they writing shit on these artists, these big artists. Like, yeah, Yo, yeah. the nigga Fred will kill you if you do. Wow. Like, oh, don't say that. So I get this nigga off my next single, man. Yeah, 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 I feel you. And then, Jeez. And then it, it's just rappers. I'm cool with everybody. And I'm, That's what's up. Like, I even try to get a mixtape done with mm -hmm. certain people, and, yeah, they, yeah. and they, they keep it a million. Like, no, I can't do that with you right now, my nigga. Mm. Like, you say t too much, too much shit. Jeez. Damn, it man. is what it is, man. One shot, man. One shot sure. at this, man. That's what's up. So, oh man, I guess I'm. Walk the people through the mixtapes, man. When was the first one that dropped, and when's what's coming now? What's out now? You uh, know, let them know what's up with the. the yeah, where they can get it. I had the big Bronx out there. Um, nice. Then I went to the Armageddon. Mm. Armageddon was my first like mainstream joint. Nice. Um, I had uh, who I who I had on that shit? Styles. Nice, man. Busta Rhymes. Um, Cameron, Waka Flocka, it's I don't know, a couple other people. That's, oh, song, that's the one you felt that took you took you up there, that big step, it put you out there. Yeah, and okay. then, of course, The City of God, that was um, mm -hmm. Gangsta yeah. Grills. Awesome, yeah, that was dope. Yeah, you know, that's Monique's that's Room was on there. That's what I was, man. Um, had Vado on there. Nice, man. Uh, who else I had on that shit? Had Pusha T on there, nice. had Maino on there. Jeez, man. Um, See, independent artists, man, make that grind. Word up. Make that then grind, and then you're going to get up there. Then like, was, don't worry about the little crap that's going on right now. Make your, word, man. Put your money out there, get your shit going, and then you you, you make it up to that big time where you got anybody yeah. on your, your joint. <laughs> then it was Goldo Frederico I had up. Nice. Um, no, oh, Mano was on Goldo Frederico, right? Yeah, Mano was on that That's one. That's what's up. Had yeah, Jim yeah. Jones Shout on that Mano, one. Shout out to Mano, man. We got, you know, Mano. I brought, little, got Mano <laughs> I brought little Kim out for that one. Nice. That's what's up. Um, Jim Jones, Corey Guns, Fat Joe. Nice. Jeremiah, um, Vado. So, yeah, man, you got a lot of work. And you got Fat Boy Fresh. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's <laughs> why I had Contraband. That was a collaboration with me and them arsonists. Nice. nice then nice I got stuff. Fat Boy Fresh that's out right now, and that shit is that's ringing. Fat Boy Make sure you get that, man. That's yeah, I got Dizzy right on there. That's um, what's up, man. Chevy Woods. Dope. Uh, Vado French. Jeez. Tyler Woods. Ben Vito. Dominating, dominating it yeah, right yeah, now. Dominating. You know, that's uh, what's we up, can man. can talk all night, man. That's what's up, man. Nah, I hear yeah. you. That's, that's what it is, yeah, man. Yeah. That's what's up. Oh, man. So we'll be back after the short break, man, with more Fred the God. So I'm oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Shout out um, Bad Luck. Me and Bad Luck doing a mixtape. Oh, nice, And me man. and Kevin Gates. Shout out to Kevin. Oh, word exclusive, yeah, man. Word up, man. We'll be right yeah, back after the short break, man. That's what's up. Word. More the music. Yeah, yeah. Yes, what's up, more than music? If you're just tuning in, yes, yes, what's up, more than music? If you're just tuning in, we got our guest, man, Fred the Gosselin in the building. What's yeah, going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, man. So, word, I want to ask you a few questions, um, a few more. First, walk us through a day. What's a day like? What's a what's a a, a day grind for Fred the Gosselin? Walk us like, you know, from the stu nightlife. How much? How often do you, you know, you're in a club? How many hours you spend in the studio? All the stuff that goes into how much hours do you have to yourself? <laughs> That's <laughs> what it is. <laughs> yes, that. But walk America do a, a work day, uh, a typical work day. Wake up in the morning. I try to make some coffee as fast as I can. Nice. <laughs> for my daughter to wake up, she nice. wakes up. It's over. <laughs> She's three years old. Name is Sadie. Nice. Nah, She's shout crazy. Shout to the Family kids. first. Yeah. Yes, 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 man. That's what's up. And I have to take her to school. Nice. Then I come back, write a little bit, call my nigga Zoe. 
was manager, nice. fucking Shout to engineer, man. all that shit. Word, man. So I call him, meet him in the studio early in the morning, probably like 10.30. Nice. Then we work all the way till it's time to go to the club, which is probably like 1 o'clock. Wow. We make the runs. I'm in the house, 4.30, 5, everybody sleep. I do it all over again. All, all over, over again. again. <laughs> that's, that's what's up. How often you in the, on your network at night? How, how many nights a week you out there? Well, right now, we just been in the studio locking awesome. in. Awesome. Well, I mean, we we always book. Yeah. So we go out when we could go out. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, but it's crazy, man. That's what up. If anybody of uh, upcoming artists were um, listening right now, which they should be, you know, um, what advice would you give them? You know, at this point, you know, and I guess there's two types. There's the beginning. Oh, yeah, the seasoned artist. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this goes for everybody. Um, you just gotta grind, man. The grind is never over. You know, um, you can even look at the greats. The greats is grinding. Yeah. You got niggas like motherfucking Jay Z and his girl is Beyonce. That's his wife. Mm -hmm. And they're grinding still. still. Like it's crazy. It's crazy. Like oh and God. then look how much money they got. They're grinding. They probably <laughs> like at seven hundred million together. Mm. And look at Diddy. He's like at seven hundred himself. Still and everybody's working. just grinding, Still you know working. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But that's the difference, you know? You got rappers that, that used to be like the best and we called them the best and then they fall off. Mm. It's about grinding. Of course you're going to grind like you right. broke. Yeah, yeah. You're going to grind when you broke, but then when you get the money, you just got to grind like you like, broke. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's nice. once you look and be like, yo, I'm chilling. That's what's you're up, finished. Yeah, yeah. That's what up. You're done. I want to ask you, man, what... First up, more than music. Let me just tell you, man. Um, we had Fred. We knew Fred, Fred Gosson was coming in the building. We've been hyped, man. You know, this is a, a historic episode because we're so, you know, season one, and uh, this is going to be huge and it's going to be big thing. But I just want to, you know, just ask you, man, what made you, you know, come out, man, and support this more than music thing? What made you come out and show the, the you know, D love some love, man? And oh, I, no, I have to so, ask that, man. Yeah, so love. Shout out to my homegirl Quest. Right up, she Quest. She put me on to you, yeah, talking does. highly, and then I just was looking for myself. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Looking at, you know, your Twitter, your, mm -hmm. your the things that you put out there, and I was just like, yo, grinding. Like it's the grind. You grind it. Like it, you gotta be. You know, and then when we talk on the phone, you can hear the passion in it. Like you really want to do this. Shit. Like yo, you know, we had yeah, like little. Yeah, yeah. She almost got crazy earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Well, but but you I'm know, blessed. Still blessed. God is so good, man. And, you know, and, and you, going, yeah, we going back and forth. Yes, like man. you grinding back and forth. I'm shooting up. I thing know, for man. world star and all that shit so i'm in the midst of shooting and i'm talking Word. to you on the phone phone dying i'm like yo listen we do this Word i can up. do this yeah i'm, I'm telling you i got you you know so and i gotta tell you everybody out there man fred is you know the way you know how how aggressive and how good your music is for you to be so humble and so down to earth and then you know for my first conversation you just been so open i, I never feared you know, any anything working with you, man. You kept an open line. That's why I want to let everybody know out there, man. It was no Hollywood, man. I mean, nah, cause these niggas be like all of us, man. Everybody that raps, we gotta keep it a million, man. We come from nothing, everybody. Right. I don't give a damn. Like you come from nothing. I never. Like, I'm the oldest out of six, and we come from a shelter. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We live in the shelter. You know what I'm saying? Six of us. Nice in the son, shelter, man. mother and father, six or eight people all together in the shelter. So you got to remember these things, man. Mm. And it didn't saying? stop you. Yeah, it didn't stop you, man. That's what's that up. That shit man. just makes me go the way I go. Or that hard. You know? That's what yeah. it is, man. But we don't want to take too much more of your time, man. I just want to thank you again so much for being here, man. Like I said, this is historic for me. Everybody out there, man. Fred the God, so make sure you go out and get that mix. Listen, is there any shout outs, listen, anything listen, you want to say? Everybody go out there and download that on Fatboy Fresh Mixtape on NatPiff.com. Y'all hear the reviews, y'all hear what they say is better than everybody's album. Yes. They're not lying. <laughs> y'all know how I play, y'all know how I give it up. Word, man. Um, yeah, TBM, the team. Um, Shout out to the team. Like I said, uh, Mixtape coming out, Kevin Gates. Word. Make sure uh, you get that, make sure you get that. Mixtape coming out with the homie Bad Luck. Word up, man. Uh, I got the EP in the work. That's what it is, man. And we sh we shooting videos off the Fat Boy Fresh mixtape. Be on the lookout for them sessions. Y'all know how I do. Yeah, yeah, Acapella, yeah. throw that shit out. Y'all niggas see these bars and all. Definitely, man. You know, free my little brother is up. 
You already know what it is. Word, man. Well, we just Baldo, Frederico. Huh? Already, man. Fred the Godson, we thank you. You know, for your family here, man. You know, strange anytime, man, any day. Oh, peace. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I, before <laughs> I bounce, I would like to say the, the, the two acts that came up here, they went in. The homie, what's his name? Jersey the Don. Jersey the Don, his shit is crazy, man. That clap shit. He went in three verses. Niggas don't even do three verses no more. I've been always trying to stop him from doing it, but he's yeah. a writer. He loves it. Yeah, niggas don't even do that no more. He <laughs> went in. This shorty came up and did her thing. Jazz she okay. Went in, she, she went in. You can tell she writing her shit. She going. She's into the shit. All that shit. She went in, man. So both both of y'all, y'all looking you. good out here, Thank man. Thank you, man. Fred, that means so yeah. much coming from you, bro. Yo, the Definitely. Fred the Goss, man. Yeah. We'll be back after the short break. Uh, more the music. Yes. Yes, yes. Welcome back to more the music. Saw him earlier in the show, man. Hit the stage up. I got the big homie in the building. The ladies been asking me to get him on the show, man. I got Jersey Don in the building. What's going on, bro? How are you, Good man? Good to see you, Thanks man. For having me, man. Good. Introduce for yourself to everybody, man. Let me know who you are, where you from. Oh, you already know. It's your boy Jersey Don, man. From the Daily Rexus franchise. Come yes. all the way from the Jersey show, Ashbury Park. Stand the fuck up. Jersey's in the building. Yes, yes, you know man. I mean? So, man, when did this all start? How, how old were you when you first started this music stuff, man? Oh, man, I gotta say, like, because. No, I was raised down south, you feel me? So, like, that element of music down there is a lot different mm. from up here. So, yeah. like, as to where I, I, I grew up down there, I was accustomed to that, you feel me? It never really stuck with me because, mm. you feel me? It's more of the dancing atmosphere. So, right? where, where so in the south? Really where in the south? south? People, oh. A lot of people don't know this about you. Oh, where Baton, in the Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You oh. already know. All they do okay. is they they, they, they they do drugs well, they and do they, they party and, and fight. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 how they, that's how they club in So when did you get to Jersey? From when the, I got to Jersey, up. right after Katrina. Um, okay. Right after Katrina, they had a bunch of refugees from the wilderness come down there to the, you know, mm -hmm. where I was raised at, that's like a low, low, low. And like, Baton Rouge is, is, is broke down in the like, it's one city which mm -hmm. broke down to like 10 hoods. Mm. So where I lived at, Mall City was just- That's what's up. The, Bottom, bottom. So mm. that's where they stuck all the refugees at. Got you. So, got you. you know, as you know, New Orleans don't like Baton Rouge. I got some trouble. Mom wasn't having it. Shit mm. up to North Carolina. And I was just getting in shit until I made it back to Jersey. That's what it is. So when you got to Jersey, when did you, when did it, the music, when did music become something that you wanted to do in Jersey? When I found, well, you, as you can imagine, mm. for me, I come up here with the down south swag, you feel me? Gotcha. Nobody really fucking with the kid, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I little Husky had the Jabos, tall tees with the ball fade, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, like, they, they wasn't yeah, having they that at all. So, you yeah, know, yeah. like, I was a loner from Rip, but mm -hmm. so I, I kind of like, you know, fell into my own. But as, gotcha. as I, I got around, like, some of my family that I haven't grew up about, you know, around, mm -hmm. you know, being that I was raised so far away. I saw what they was doing. They had this old little movement shaking mm. in my hood. Uh, STG, Street Team Gorillas. Shout out to STG, Sh man. Shout out to Streets, man. Shout out to Official. Shout out to Flair. Flair, that's my cousin. That's who taught me how to rap. Shout out to Flair, man. So, Word. basically just watching them, you feel me? Just being, I ain't gonna lie, they, they had, each one of them had me under, you know, a little bit of portion of Word. deodorant at, at, at some time, but that's what, you know what I mean? Word, man. I know where you coming from. I, I gotta going. tell everybody a true story, man. Um, I, I when, when I first, not at first, we'll talk about that, but when I actually went out to my first appearance in Asbury, when I, you know, when you when you came here. Oh, you brought I, this out. I never forget, man. Um, I, I did, you know, Jersey, around us, he's a big brother. So to go in your neighborhood and see that you actually this youngest in charge, and that was before anybody was really running with that. You was actually the youngest in charge. <laughs> and um, the love, I mean, as we would walk into the store, it would start off me and Jersey, and then by the time we got back to his house, we were 25, 30 deep, you know, and just the love you got out there. What's it like, man? Talk about Ashbury, man. I mean, it's, it's like Fred said, you know, for me, and, 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 and in any aspect of life, if you want to better yourself, there's always a grind. Mm -hmm. There's always a grind. That's one thing I can say about my city, like, it's built up with grinders, you feel me? That's they got the up. hustlers, they got the lady out there selling uh, Italian ice, mm. they got they got my, my boy, they got the tattoo parlor on the street, you right. feel me? You just roll up, it's like a kiosk. I you feel you. me? You just roll up, you tattoo up real quick, you feel I me? Like, they, they got everybody that's out there from, like, 
everybody has some type of some type of movement, you feel me? Right. So you know, us as humans, you know, everybody wanna be a part of something, but right. as to like to say good say fuck all that, you feel me? Right. And, and and branch off by yourself and do your own thing, you feel me? Become right. your own entity. Absolutely. And that that's basically what my city is based based up off on. And at the end of the day, mm -hmm. we clash because of it because like I say, everybody wants to be their own, you feel right, me? Right, I hear you. All right, if everybody they own, who's the top? Right. You feel know I me? Mean? You not. I am. Right. No, nigga, you not. You see what I'm saying? Right. So it's like that. The breeze that. That's what's up. So um, when I first met you, you already had music. Um, talk to me about that that process. What was that uh, um, the recording of that that um, the first songs I've ever heard from you when I first got put on to the Jersey of Dawn? Tell us a little bit about that music. What were your influences at that time when you was making records? Because oh, shit, my influences were my experiences. I mean, the people I've been around, stuff that I've been through, what I listened to, what I grew up on listening mm -hmm. to. That's that's what inspired. I mean, some of my my earlier records. You know, like my, my favorite rapper is Big Pun. Right. So I mean, to me, shop, that's the shop greatest. Big Pun. Because yeah, yeah. nobody been words like that, fat nigga. Like, right, right. You feel me? That's like nobody, up. even to this day. And I will say that, like you. Still ain't nobody fucking with him. Like, That's what's yeah, up. Yeah. Now, so, you mentioned yeah. something. You mentioned something a lot of people don't know. You said the Ben's words. Tell people about your fascination with words and, oh, man. and how. I, yeah. I love the diction. I just got off a four year bid. You feel me? A four year bid. I say about. I say about maybe like two years out of the four. You feel me? I studied the dictionary. I just love words. I can love. I love the fact that something mm. could be. Spell one way, mean one thing, mm. sound like the same something thing, totally different. and then something else that sounds just like that word means something totally different. You feel That's me? I so love that. I can't like I, I, the fact that 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 <laughs> that that exists. That we have, you know, what I mean, the, the the power to wield these. You feel me? That 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 feels like a fire in itself right. as an MC. You feel right. me? Like damn, can't nobody. Do I this never like met that. no like, one like like you that was so into words like that, man. That's probably yeah, a that's, that, that's how it is. You feel me? If, 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 if we can't talk, how do we communicate? That's you see what I'm saying? Talking. That's what words are. It's speech. So let the okay. people. Not for. I'm sorry. I, I just wanna. I wanna ask you because it's something things that it pops in my head. And I'm thinking. I'm gonna highlight. Let the people know out there how often you write and. What it, probably how many songs you have that's not out yet? Uh, I try my best to write every day. Like I said, it's a constant grind. Sometimes I I, I don't have time to. Sometimes I'd be like, oh man, love just sent this beat. Uh, I really like it, but I'm tired as hell. But you feel me? I mean, it's, it, 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 it's all ambition and drive at the end of the day. And if you got it, you'll do it. That's you know what's up. That's just like right now, I got to be to work at what? What, what time? Is it? I got to be working about. Two three hours for me. I'm in New York. You see what I'm saying? And like, you got a session after. And I got a session right after this. You see what I'm saying? So Word it's out, a constant man. grind, constant grind, That's constant grind. You got to keep so going. Let the people know when was the first. Well, matter of fact, before that, um, tell us about this DLE records. How did? Well, I'm not gonna say how did. Huh? What, no. <laughs> you know I've been wanting to talk about that. Nah, I'm not Inquiring even. Inquiring minds want to know. No one wants to know, but they all want to. Let know. me tell everybody. <laughs> This, this is my dude, man. Let me let everybody know, man. When I first got put on to Jersey Dawn's records, I'll never forget. I remember um, someone coming up to me and saying, wait a minute, you do what? And I was like, oh yeah, I, I, I'm dabbling with the music business and, and I'm, I'm flirting around with starting my own record label because at that time I was coming out of um, not doing deals. So I remember they was like, you got to hear my son, but I got to hear my people before you leave. You got to hear them. I'm like, okay, bet. They brought me the CD. And I heard the CD, and I was expecting a hood mixtape. I was expecting just what I normally hear. But I heard, I think 17, what was it, six, 18 at the time? Yeah, 17, 18? Yeah, yeah. About, about, about something in the middle of yeah. like 15, 16 tracks. Yeah, no, no, I'm talking about how old you were. When oh, I, me? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was like, <laughs> how old I was? Yeah, I was like 16, 17. Yeah, so when I met Jersey, he's 16, 17, and I'm, I'm, you know, I don't even know how old I'm at that. I'm like 20, you know, 21 at that time or something. But at the end of the day, um, these records weren't mixtapes, they were songs, and that's what drew to me. But before I even met you, I heard this young dude making songs, and I said, I gotta meet him. I gotta, I gotta bring him right here. From just hearing the tracks that I heard, when I got the chance to meet you, I, I mean, and I guess you can b build more on the story, but you were nothing like your environment. You were totally different, and you wanted different. Why, at that point, why, you were so young, but what, click that you knew you were different from what was going on around you and, and you started to seek different because your music wasn't the same. 
Well, basically, like I said, you feel me? Like I, I, I grew up, you know, down south, which mm-hmm. is, you know, means that they do go by a different code. It's bigger. It's a different set of rules. You're allowed to get away with a lot more shit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, being at me, I mean, I'm, I'm hanging around. Like I'm, I'm young, right. but I was always a big guy. You right. know? So right. I'm hanging around with a bunch of 27. 30 year old mom, and they mm-hmm. thinking I'm like 22 or some shit like that. But that's what's up. Mom coming down, see me sitting on the air conditioning unit drinking with these motherfuckers. You know, my son, like, he's only yeah. 14. They're like, word. Like, yeah, I but you feel me? Like, being that, that, you feel me? I was, uh, I, I came, uh, I experienced a lot of things before my time. I hate you. So, as to where the average person might go through a certain amount of things that may be like, 16, 17, I went through it at 13 and 14. Got you. So I, I had already mentally. He was mature. You, you feel me? Like oh, on the street tip. Right. You know, right. Like mentally street mature smart. on the street tip. Right. 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 Uh, far from books. I, 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 I got through school. I got my diploma. I promise my mama, I got the, my, I got my diploma, but right. I, I can't tell you, I, I didn't like it at all. That's what's so. up. And you play, did you play high school sports? You oh, play? yes, 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 yes. You gotta yes. let people know this, man. When you was <laughs> all a, conference a defensive end. Yes, yes. You know me? Um, that's what I like about Capital High School, you know, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And that's what I loved about Georgia. Home of the well. Golden Lions. Word, man. <laughs> Word, that's what I loved about Georgia, too, because we both were athletes. So, one, I, I knew we both had the work ethic because we want, you know, the drive to be the best. Um, do you remember when we, after our conversation, and um, when I left there, you remember I needed some time? Yes. Because I was still, you know, building the label and still getting the paperwork right. Mm-hmm. Do you remember from that conversation how often, you know, let the people know from that day when I left and I said, yo, I got you. How often did we, you know, let them know what you did that day until, until that day we met again? I hounded him. <laughs> I, mean, I, already, I, I hounded him because I'm like, all right, well. This guy, we came. We had a great conversation. Word, the first, uh, right, you know from the mean? first time we met, man. You feel we me? That up. that conversation, and to be on the same page with one person that quick, you feel me? That that that, the chemistry that was that was there, from from jump. You feel right. me? There, there's no denying that. That's something you gotta follow. You understand? Like, that's something that's that's bigger than yourself. You feel me? I'm not right. saying that that's like you know what I mean the Almighty. That that's, ain't nothing like that. that. He's bigger than everything. Right. But. I mean, at the end of the day, that's something that'd be like. I, I guess at the end of the day, just find something that you can believe in. You see right what I'm saying? Just be like, all right, I, I trust this man's word. You feel me? Right. I, I find myself as a good judge of character. All mm-hmm. right, I'm gonna get with this guy. That's for me, he up. knows what he's talking about. Man, for me, like, that conversation was so ill. I was going through so much of the disloyalty, and he was such a loyal, you know, wanted and wanted honor. So the, we clicked so ill, and um. About a year and a half later, man, Jers hit me up and her, you know made sure that I was doing what I said I was doing for this. And once we, once I inked and became incorporated, I'll never forget the call. I think <laughs> seven days later, your ass was up in New York. And it's about my birthday. Yes, came up, man, and then that's when we we made some history. So since then, since that day you signed, um, I guess you can let the people know, you know, what what's that label that you with, man? In case they don't know that. I already know, man. Yes, Daily yes. Records. You already, man. So this man right here, that lady right there. Word. We a family. At the end of the day, we next up. And I ain't trying to hear nothing else from anybody else. That's what it like, is, man. That's just what it is. So after we signed, after we made the deal official, mm-hmm. we dropped Dawn of the Dawn. Yep. I went, man, we're about to let you go. So after we dropped Dawn of the Dawn, the bid came up. What was that like? Putting your first baby out there and then, you know, had to go away for a short time. Real briefly, let us know that, you know, all the effort, all the money, all the time we put into Dawn of the Dawn. Now, at the end of the like, um... All right, I'm gonna say this. I felt that it was, it was a much needed break. And why I say that, cause the double life that I was living, you see what I'm saying? I was coming up here, I'm doing one thing with you guys. You right. know I mean? I'm, I'm a different person. But when I go back down there, because of this whole lot of dug for myself, I gotta be a fucking animal. You see I, mean? I gotta always be, you feel me? So it, it, it was just too much mm-hmm. for me. I, I, I was crashing anyway, I for me. I had to sit my ass down. And I came out a better person, you feel me? I came out a better lyricist. Uh, I, I well, think now before I act, and that's what's up, man. I know that that part is is, is in the past. Right. I mean, I'll never see that again. I was fucking miserable. Well, I the gotta, worst thing you can do to me is sit me in one spot and tell me not to move. I hate that shit. Man. That's what so it is, like, man. I can imagine. But I gotta tell everybody, when Dawn of the Dawn happened and, and you went away, for the, the, the three years you was in, I worked I diligently, Diddy. man. I, I pushed that album with everything Diddy. I had. I grinded. I made sure I, you probably wouldn't even know Jersey Dawn was in the pen because I kept that. You know, I pushed so hard. And now, 
what brings us to today. Cause we we passed that. We're gonna get to talk more about that when they get that to the album. So let's talk to us about real quick, man. Let everybody know what's next for Jers, and tell what's them why they should go it's get it. What's next? Coming in a few short weeks. I can't wait. Because the, the preparation and, and, and the, the effort, the energy, the time that we spent on this project, when you, the people, hear it, you're going to know exactly how much this project means to us and, and, and how much it's going to mean to you. No, no. Because I'm telling you, it, it, it's, it's uh, we'll go ahead and two my own horn. It's about 100% better than what the fuck is out right now. Absolutely. And why I say that is, you hear the same shit. Same flows and the same beat by the same people spun by the same fucking DJs over and over and over again. Your whole day is consisted of is consisted of four camps, four camps and three people, all on the radio, all day. It's true. It, 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 I mean, repetition is one thing, but you get tired of some shit. Well, yeah, you just you, you get tired, and you yeah. and when you get tired, you you lose passion. You feel me? Because you feel like it's the same thing. Where's it going? I don't want to hear that. You feel me? You won't say that about any type of DLE record or a Jersey Dawn record that number one sound like number six, number six sound like number four, number four sound like number thirteen. Nah, everyone is different right. for each mode of life. You know, what I mean? nobody goes through the same things every day. You feel me? This is you got to be able to relate to different situations in life, right. and you can't do that unless you live. You see what I'm saying? You have to live. So what's the name of this album and what day it comes out exactly? Oh, May 11th, Mother's Day, man. Shout out to my mother, Michelle Markham, you feel me? Yes, mom, we Sal miss you. Sal what up? Universal Language, S.O.U.L. Word, man. Hey, yo, listen. This here is just like, just everything, you feel me? Just everything put into, uh, 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 everything that I have been through, everything that I am, is in this project because I made sure that I pushed it back time and time again because I'm like you know what it's just not ready the people don't have all of me yet May 11th you'll have all of me Word, and hopefully man. I'll get all of you I just got to say this man um I'm proud of you bro I'm proud of the man you become I've known you for so long man and I I, I waited dawn of the dawn you know we missed it and um they missed you but we kept Word, it but so I gotta tell you, it's um, it's my proudest piece of work. I've been wanting this album out for two years now. Executive produce. Yeah, man, it's my guy. first project. I Jerz gave me control in with the, with the selection. <laughs> it was hard. So, yes, but I'm happy. Yes, mm -hmm. man, and um, I'm proud of this, man. So I just think the fans out there, we owe it to them. Y'all going y'all in for a treat. New DLE music, man. We've been promoting this. We've been telling y'all. I'm a, I'm no I'm done man, talking. The only one. Thirty two coming out. The last <laughs> chapter. Yes. Two thousand fourteen is basically just just is, is our playground. It looks like we it gonna, belongs to the one. We gonna do what we want, regardless, and ain't nobody gonna do nothing about it. Word up, man. Um, you wanna let them know where they can find you out online before we oh, go? Oh, you can find me everywhere. You can find me at DLE Records Music backslash at YouTube. You can uh, follow me on Instagram at Jerz the Don J E R Z D A D O N. Um. You got uh, the album when it drops is gonna be on notpiff.com, iTunes, iTunes. You understand that? iTunes. Yes, you feel yes. me? And, and like he said before, we're in a corporation. Incorporation, not LLC. I just had to be, you gotta pause on that. So they just really I already grasp. know, hey. That's what I'm saying though. Like, that means if we fuck up, they take everything. Alright. That means there's no fucking up. We well, come in A1 every time. Well. Jer know that <laughs> I gotta thank you for coming out man that's our time more than music I wanna thank everybody for super. tuning in DJ super excited anything you wanna say any shout outs man man I just wanna shout out everybody out there um hit me up at super excited on our IG on our Facebook on our Twitter word if you got you with that bookings hit me up super excited forever at hotmail.com hit word. me up man I'm out here we out here DLE Word, Super man. Super excited, stream vibes, camouflage sound. Yes, man, yes. I hear, don't know that. If you would like to be a guest on the show, be sure to email daily records at live.com. Check us out every Monday morning music. We'll be back next week with next episode week. eight. Word, stay in tune. Shout to Fred the Godson. Shout to Jerz the Don. Jazz O'Fay. Uh, That's our show, Morning Music. We out of here, baby. That's very Yes, yes. Shout out to Real Time Media, baby. Yes. Hey, daily Records. Jazz O'Fay. Turn us up, Sue. Send us home, baby. Oh,